Hallelujah. Praise that great name. Oh, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for all of your mercies. Hallelujah. Your promise to hear. Hallelujah. The cry of your people. Hallelujah. Your promise, Lord, to comfort us in our trials. All of your great mercies, Lord God, to give us joy. Hallelujah. And peace and rest in trusting in Christ our Lord. Thank God this morning. Thinking about a verse in uh, the Gospel of John, and Jesus said, If I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. When you think about the cross, it, it's a fascinating. Uh, uh, it's fascinating what the Almighty God did in that cross. Here is the most horrific, the most brutal, death and uh, the Almighty God is able to redeem that that brutality and that cruelty and that violence and that suffering and make it something beautiful and something holy and it is Christ the spotless Lamb of God that was slain the Bible says from the foundations of the earth before he ever hung the first star in the sky he knew the day and the hour that our Lord would give his life as a sacrifice for sin. Maybe you remember there was a great darkness, a great darkness that covered the earth. Um, and that is a uh, um, prophesied um, uh, that that would happen. Um, so before the, uh, you know, in the chronological order, the, the timepiece of the sky, um, God ordained it, and God set it up. And even the most uh, the brilliant minds would find that fascinating and so interesting that it would draw them. Uh, people that have suffered throughout the ages have found comfort uh, in the, the sufferings of Christ. Here he was betrayed by uh, one of his disciples, a friend. And that too is a prophecy in the Old Testament, how he would be betrayed uh, um, by one of those that he broke bread with, that he went to the house of God together with, and he was betrayed. And of course, we know he was betrayed by Judas. The story of the cross is so enlightening and so enriching. Uh, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. It's To me, it's like the story of Moses and the burning bush. You know, he just found it fascinating. And so he drew near to see, what is this? What is this? And God had pulled him aside uh, to consider this thing. And when he got near uh, to the burning bush, of course, the Lord spoke to him out of the burning bush and said, this is a, a holy place. God is able to make um, our lives holy and our hearts holy as we consider the cross of Christ. There's a verse in Ephesians. It says that you that were afar off, that's us, <laughs> aliens from the promise of God, um, strangers to, the, pro uh, to the, the covenant of promise. And he's able to make us near and bring us near by the blood of Christ. And he tears down that wall that is between us and the Holy God by the blood of Christ. He goes on to say in Colossians that the handwriting of ordinances, the charges against us were nailed to that tree. The story of the cross is so fascinating um, and so intriguing that it just draws you in. It pulls you in. Here is the passion of Christ. The King of Israel, the King of Israel, uh, and yet the lowly servant, the lowly Nazarene. The story of the cross is uh, one of brutality, but it's one of redemption. And of course, it's that, that blood covenant. I mean, these are the great themes in the Bible, the, the breaking of the bread. And that, of course, is the body of Christ, the shedding of blood, that covenant with the living God in the person of Jesus Christ and his work 
on the cross. And Jesus said, unless a seed dies, planted and is died, it remains alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. So here we have the, the great theme of the seed of the woman, the prophecy. The very first prophecy concerning Christ that uh, the, the, the serpent would bruise uh, the heel of the seed of the woman. But yet the, the seed of the woman would crush the head of the serpent, meaning sin and the power of sin and the curse of sin and the death of sin is broken in the body of Christ and in his death. That wasn't just him, but that was us. That was the poor sinner that has no recourse, that has no justice in this earth. We find our recourse. We find our, our, our um, redemption. Uh, in in Christ and in the cross, and so praise uh, praise the Lord. That is, it's just such a beautiful thing when you consider the cross and what Jesus uh, did there for us. Jesus said, "If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me." And so we find this just just drawing us in this great story of love, this great story of the shepherd of Israel who gives his life for the sheep. It's just such a, a, a great story and it really does draw us in. And so I just thank God for drawing us in today. You know, draw us near, draw us nearer, my God, to thee um, by the cross, by the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, and by the ministry of the Holy Spirit of God, that hope, let that hope rise. You know, when you think about the Old Testament and the presence of God, you know, we think about it, well, that was a special dispensation and that was something that God did especially for the, uh, the, the nation of Israel in the wilderness. But yet we have a more glorious ministry and by the blood of Christ, the presence of God in our life by faith. You're not always, you know, going to uh, feel the presence of God, but we can be aware of it by his promises and by the ministry of the Holy Spirit of God. That's what I think it means to draw near to God, to just be aware that, that God is hovering over your life to bless you, to open doors for you, to touch your heart, to keep you strong, you know, and victorious over the wiles of the devil and the evil in this world. That is the power of the cross, that newness of life, hallelujah, a living hope, oh, hallelujah. And this is my prayer for you, that that hope will come alive in your soul today, that your spirit will be refreshed, hallelujah, in his presence, that, that mind will be washed, that heart will be washed, that soul will be washed by the blood of Christ, that we can draw near to the living God without shame and without fear, but with boldness, knowing his promise and his willingness to receive us. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> well, anyway, God bless you all today. Just trying to share a few thoughts of the goodness of the Lord and his presence his goodness, his mercy, his mighty power, and his willingness to receive us by the blood of Christ, by the power of the cross, God's great redemption for us. Hallelujah. By faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you today. Have fun, stay safe, and give God the glory in everything. Hallelujah. <laughs>